In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite concepts for the U-Trips formation to be able to beat the meta Mabel coverage out of the Nickel 335 wide Mike Blitz 3. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. This is a video that we're going to be talking about out of the U-Trips offensive guide. Um, if you've not already gotten my entire New England Patriots offensive guide, it literally walks you through step by step, formation by formation play-by-play, play, every single effective play from the New England Patriots offensive playbook. So if you've not gotten that yet, um, you can get that full guide in the description. It breaks down not just the U-trips, but it breaks down everything out of the New England Patriots playbook, which it is definitely going to be the best playbook in Madden 22, at least in my opinion. And I'm kind of starting to prepare for Madden 22 by really mastering this playbook. And so um, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my favorite route combinations from the U-Trips. This is specifically designed for when your opponent is running a lot of um, just different things like that are gonna be really effective against Mabel coverage. This is, this is really what we're trying to just have an answer for um, is the Mabel coverage. You know, we're gonna be talking about the play curl flat We've also, you, there's also an additional setup or an additional version, uh, and I can't remember which play, I think it's the scat play uh, you can use from scat, but we're gonna focus in on curl flat in this video, um, and we'll talk about scat in a future video, but this is really, really good, especially whenever your opponent is using what I would say are like deeper zone drops, and what I mean by that is when they're running a lot of like th uh, flats, like flats on 30, curl flats on 10, uh, to stop like curl routes. This is really, really good to force them to have to bring their underneath zone down a little bit more. This is a really good setup for that. And so all we're gonna do, it's actually really simple. Um, now this does require Hot Route Master. I will go ahead and get that out of the way. If you don't have Hot Route Master, you can still run this. It's just better if you do have Hot Route Master um, or Slot Apprentice, okay? Um, but what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna first show you the one that doesn't require Hot Route Master. So, we're just going to drag the tight end. We're going to put circle on an in route, and then we're going to block the running back. That's it. That's all we're going to do. And what you're going to see is this tight end drag route is really good against this. You're going to get about 7 to 10 yards, especially if they're putting their, again, if they're putting their purples or their, or their flats. Like So if they're putting their flats or their curl flats on 10 yards or higher, um, this is gonna be really good. So you'll see here, this is a pretty standard max coverage defense. It's Mabel on both sides with the user sitting in the middle of the field. And what's gonna happen is this drag route is so good against this. Just pass it to the left, get to the sideline, and get about 10 to 15 yards. It's one of the really, really good features from this formation is this tight end little drag route. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to open up the curl route to the to the um, to the square receiver, so we don't have to put them back on a route. And what you're going to see is this curl route to the square is it's not going to be super open because of that ten yard because you're going to go to the drag. But once they start bringing their zones down, having to the, having to add somebody uh, to stop this tight end drag route. So an example of that might be a cross man. Uh, type of tactic or something like that. Um, when they start to have to go to do stuff to stop this tight end drag route, then what's gonna happen is your curl route and behind it is gonna be wide open, okay? Um, now, this is the biggest reason why I think a slot apprentice or a hot route master quarterback can help this be even, this specific play be even more lethal because what you can do with it is you can put this square receiver on a corner route and this corner route is going to do an incredible job of getting open against a 10 yard curl flat zone so you'll see i've got that 10 yard and because of the drag and the whole formation you see that that corner route gets wide open against a 10 yard curl flat so not only do you get your drag open but you're going to get your corner route open as well which is really really nice now the rest of this play um, what you're going to see is obviously their user is going to want to sit on this left side. What I want to be clear about right off the rip is if they play this defense, they will not be able to stop the two-man route combo on the left. Um, but I do want to show what this is going to mean for your right side. So you basically have a high-low. You can either throw your post route over the middle of the field. 
And again, we're anticipating that their user is going to be over there. So that that what that practically means for us is it's likely they're going to drop a yellow there, and then they're going to be over here, kind of making a, a user decision. Now, knowing the way most people run their Mabel, though, it could mean they're going to be right here with their user. And if they're right here with their user, this is gonna be a little bit better of a way to stop this, but you're still gonna have a lot of opportunities because if they are going to the left side of the screen at the snap of the ball, then you're throwing this post route every time. That post route is wide open. As you can see, it's really easy read. So what they're gonna to have to do as a user is they're gonna to have to drop a yellow over there to try to help with the tight end route. And then they're gonna to have to come over here and basically they're gonna to have to make a decision. Are they gonna take away the slot? Um, like the, are they gonna take away the slot post or are they gonna take away the uh, little dig route to circle? So you see circles are just gonna come underneath this really nicely as a nice underneath check down. If you wanna put them on a drag, you certainly can. Um, the, if you, if you wanna put them on a drag, you certainly can. Let me show you what that looks like really quickly. Um, and again, this is if, if they're gonna, you know, kind of maybe start here and then they're gonna go over to R1 because there's no other, they, they can't, there's not a zone in the game that's gonna stop the post, um, which is really nice. So anyways, if we get a look like this and we wanna go double drags, I just wanna show you this circle drag is pretty good. Um, is I would, I don't know if I would, I don't even know how to say, honestly, probably the drag is probably a better route um, I just find, you know, the thing with U-trips is the reads are so fast. Um, you really want to be making fast progressions. So if he goes, like, let's say um, that the user goes to, let's say the user goes to R1, then goes to circle, um, and then tries to go back to R1, you see that the, the spacing is there for us, even if he's on a drag. So that's the beauty of this offense is it's really really hard to stop everything this post route is really underrated most people don't really understand how to use it um, but when you pair it with like a you know again i like a five yard dig typically that's what i'm going to do but that doesn't mean that's what you because again you'll see here this five yard dig they sit on the dig then we throw the post and vice versa so this is a really really good passing concept as far as man coverage goes um, that's another reason why I like the dig route. I think the dig route is going to do better against man um, than the drag will. And so you'll see your drag will get open, your dig will get, everything pretty much beats man out of this play. Uh, as long as you have like a good ability, on, like a route running ability on circle or on square, um, he's going to get open against man. Most people, I don't know. I mean, I just don't, I don't see like. The RB is going to get open against man, and then square on the out cut typically will get open because you've got slotomatic there, or you've got. Um, if this was mutt, I would probably put like short out elite on square uh, because he's always going to be outside the numbers, and then you know you'd have route running abilities on all these guys. The other thing that's really nice is this tight end drag typically kills man coverage. And then you can just run after the catch for about five to ten yards. So this is what makes U trip so good. I mean, it's just an underneath passing machine. And if you master the underneath passing, it's going to open up all of the deep dots that we have for you guys out of this offense. So if you want to learn the entire New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. This offense is insanely effective. It's just so powerful. It's so power filled. It's got so many powerful formations and and um, route combinations so if you want to learn the entire new england patriots offensive guide i'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video uh, down below and you can pick it up down there thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions feel free to text me my number is 208-218-6900